Everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, today we have a very, very special guest. Uh, it was very hard to find people to talk about the Central Asian Shepherd alibi and, and has the knowledge, the real knowledge on his dog. But we got we got the right guy today. <laughs> we got the right guy. Here we have uh, Nemus Patrick. Uh, he's from Hungary. And he's the owner of Midlander Unique Kennel. Is that right? Midlander? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's 30 years, 38 years old, and he has been addicted to this breed since 1999. He has owned and bred this dog for the last 17 years. So, welcome, Nemeth. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. All right. So, uh, we're going to jump right into it. Um, uh, could you explain to us? What is an alibi? What is a Central Asian Shepherd? Is there any difference? Uh, because we hear this name thrown around a lot in America, and it's, no real, it's not real clear what's going on. Yeah, so first of all, thank you for the possibility. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, um, <clears throat> I would like to speak about Aboriginal dogs. So that means alibi is one part of Aboriginal old type ancient dogs. This is just a one one, one, um, one section, uh, one part. Uh, we have uh, a lot of Aboriginal dogs like Tobet from Kazakhstan. This is, how to say, uh, this is um, Tobet is, for example, and Alabai and Dachmardak, um, Dachmardak and Sagekochi. Those names are uh, names for the origin breeds from those countries. For example, Turkmen Alabai. This is from Turkmenistan. So we can call only Turkmen origin dog alibi. We don't can use, so it is my opinion, we don't can use alibi word for our dogs only if they have origin from that country. For example, Kazakhstan have Tobet. So those dogs, Aboriginal dogs, Kazakh people call Tobet. Uh, Tajik dogs, um, um, Afghan, um, dogs from Afghanistan. So Afghanistan dogs are Sagekochi, for example. Um, Armenian dogs, like yeah. Armenian Gamper. Um, we have in Russia also Aboriginal dogs named Nagazi, we call Nagazi. So every country have their own breed, so own shepherd dog breed. And from those breeds, from Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, for example, Uz Uzbekistan have Buribosa, this is the name of those Aboriginal dogs. This is the same like Turkmen alibi, just they have different names. And those dogs was brought to Russia and they made uh, a new breed from those very ancient shepherd dogs. Of course, in my opinion, they used another breeds like German Dogo, like uh, Saint Bernard and something like that. So there is a, an influence, there is a size increasing in this breed, but, but of course they have origin from those Aboriginal lines. So back to Turkmen dog. Alabai means ala spotted by big. Alabai. This is a name for spotted big dog. So dogs with a lot of spots. So okay, black and white and something like that. Of course, it's possible that if the dog is white or brown or brindle or something like that. So those dogs are uh, a couple thousand years old. Um, totally different like uh, like Russian dogs nowadays because those dogs for example Turkmen or Kazakhs or Kazakh dogs or Afghan Aborigines they are selected by nature so if the dog was not healthy so they, they, they don't survive this is fact and in Russia we have now of course we have now nice working dogs nice show dogs healthy dogs so Russian dog can be also um, uh, pretty good, but uh, but those Aboriginal dogs looks totally different, like like dogs nowadays. I mean, anatomical, so physically, mm -hmm. phenotype, like uh, like totally different build, to build totally different um, uh, characteristic. Uh, they have so uh, in genetic we we, we say. Uh, 
five generation after five generation the dogs uh, dogs can uh, um, start to forget their skills i don't know how to say skill set with 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 other word but uh, uh, they can living with uh, livestock animals they can living together in pack and this after five generations generation if we don't use the, our dogs in livestock then this characteristic will lost okay so basically okay so five generations yeah. of this particular breed not working in what it's designed to do it loses the workability is what you're saying exactly yeah okay gotcha. they lose working abilities yeah okay okay because you know you are you are a person you like the dog for example for the world i like a dogs with with a lot of dominance with uh, with characteristic but in pack in pack so if you have a um, 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 uh, dogs in a flock together there is a good dog a dominant dog there is um just a normal dog there is dog with a with a i don't want to tell with afraid but totally other other skills like abilities like like the the, the alpha one mm -hmm. so we have dogs with different attitudes mm -hmm. but nowadays we like me breeders want only the most confident the, the best the most healthy uh, dominant as well so this is very hard to 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 find the the line you know because right. after few generation of course for show dogs is most most important that they are confident they can run nice uh, circles uh, and that they can show themselves but my dogs must be for example healthy um, very self confident stable in character so behavior must be perfect if not i don't use um but this is also a different job um and the shepherd look totally differently like we breeders i mean so that's why it's very important i want to say to import aboriginal lines no so not just from me or not from me there is in europe a lot of i can mention a lot of uh, breeders peoples who do more or similar like me uh for that breed a lot of people who you don't know because they don't do as much ad ad advertisement like me right. you know what right. i mean because they are elder people or something like that but yeah. uh, in, during the video during the the interview i will tell you names for the okay. for the guys for the people's uh, possible um, uh, customers that they have to contact those people as well because they have a lot of good and nice uh, uh, dogs and they are very humble uh, breeders of course right let me ask you this uh over here in the usa uh, one of the problem the first questions you get how big is the dog because everybody's <laughs> addicted to size yeah. and everything over here yeah. and so yeah. i even noticed like some of these uh type dogs look like almost like saint bernard's and uh why did they what was the whole point of them uh uh breeding those dogs uh like that uh is not the dog already have a little size to it i mean doesn't a doesn't a central asian shepherd i mean aborigines how big is it compared to the one today oh good question so first of all we have um um an aboriginal dog in in turkmenistan they have to work at least 18 hours per day 20 hours they have to run sometimes 20 kilometers for example wolves they can run 40 kilometers you know yeah about the size the biggest wolf so normally in europe in romanian transylvania this is also part of us part of hungary um, after the second world war they took from us this uh, transylvanian uh, side and there the wolves are up to 65 kilograms uh, if you can um, if you can tell me in pounds it will be great because not many people will know in usa the difference but i i don't know also because i don't use pound just i, I know that this exists in usa only so 65 kilograms wolves that's, a, that's 100 143 pounds yeah and this is inside dog yeah. this is big as hell so yeah. wolves are a real predators for example the dogs are mostly afraid of wolves not bears because bear is slower but wolf like the most 
uh, dog meat. So if the wolf uh, uh, smell a, a dog, he will hunt, uh, he will hunt because he like the meat of the dog. This is fact. So I want to say if if we speak about size, we can speak uh, about shepherd dog, dogs up to 70 kilograms. I think after 70 kilo, kilograms, we lost the working abilities, anatomy. Okay. 70, I don't know how many pounds is, but, uh, but the, the, the male dogs can be between 55 kilograms up to 70 kilograms. After 70 kilograms, they lost the speed, uh, the athleticism and everything, but the, the true fast, uh, Achilles athletic shepherd dog need. Okay, so yeah, so, so that's about a hundred. But, but, um, but um, of course, sometimes uh, born one dog with 75 80 kilograms with perfect anatomy, but keep those anatomy or keep this anatomy is very hard, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, um, at some point, too, and um, everybody is sensitive, a lot of people are sensitive on this subject. But it's a part of the history of the dog. Uh, these dogs are known for a lot of fighting. Yeah. So you yeah. gotta. So if you're gonna pick this dog, you it's important that you get with your breeder to know what type dog that's good for your family. Family. So, uh, what what was the whole point of the fighting the dog? Was it sport or was it for to see who was the strongest for breeding purposes? This is a very hard question because I have own idea. And I have an opinion about that, and the shepherds have a different opinion, and the breeders as well, because in Europe is uh, and in um, in um, in uh, in USA as well is ag against the uh, law. But if you are breeder and if you have uh, 10, 12, 14 dogs in your garden, it sometimes happen. I tell all this for my customers: uh, if the dog can can't. Um, fight back if somebody told him for fighting then how they can fight against wolves and bears and wolves and bears uh, don't play so they want to kill them not only dominate like mm. alpha to alpha or beta to alpha or omega to beta to change their positions you know in in, mm. in, in pack, i mean so if the dog can't um, fight back then uh, there is a problem uh, yeah. Of course, um, fight between fighting and fighting uh, um, exists a big difference. Because mm -hmm. if the dog in your garden uh, take a position, for example, from the ana from another, of course, in control, it's it's okay. Um, sh the, the shepherd in Turkmenistan or whatever in, in Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, they don't care much. So the dog after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years die during the fight because the other dogs sometimes kill the alpha. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Of course, if he's sick, sometimes predator, predators uh, 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 took them yeah. and eat them up. Right. So this is the nature is, is hard, man. Right. It's very hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, if the, and the selection is the best in nature. So if you have a dog in nature, a shepherd, and the dog is sick, you don't can use a doctor operation. It's it, it will be selected out, so they yeah. will they will die, and yeah. only the health, healthy dogs alive. Mm -hmm. So of course we are breeders. If I have dog with sickness, if I buy from Turkmen dog from Russia or from Bulgaria, Ukraine whatever and i have they have problems of course i do operation but uh, at the time uh, i gift for somebody who never will use in breeding because because we have a responsibility breeders we that we can just use not only just our best dogs but healthy dogs with yeah. with good working abilities is the most important not exist excellent or perfect dog. So some of dogs are uh, very good sensitivity. They have good sensitivity to be working with, with the pack. Uh, some of our dogs are good with puppies, with, with, with females, with, with 
with something like that or against predators. Some dogs are good, better in guard. The most important, the dog levels are must be good, not excellent, not perfect, because every part, if the dog have every part, so good every part, this is a good start to use in breeding. So not, your... sometimes not our best dogs are the best breeding dogs. So gotcha. genetic is very important. You know, if I am right, you have kind of courses. So if you use, yes. yeah. So for example, if you have um, a medium, for, for eyes, a medium quality dog, for phenotypically, uh, but the pup is excellent or more than excellent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So yeah. not always the best dogs are the best reproductors. I mean, right. mm -hmm. you have to find the best dogs for for your breeding program, and right. for that you need a lot of dogs or people who have experience, knowledge about that. Right here in America, uh, <laughs> some of these people think when well, you got you know more than ten dogs, uh, you're doing a puppy meal. But you're right; you got to have dogs on the ground to to make the yeah. thing if you got a purpose what what is your purpose for your dogs in you mean you mean what is in my my way in breeding or well yeah yeah what yeah what is your way what is your goal what do yeah. your dogs what do you want yeah. them all to have yeah about 10 or 12 dogs you have to check this one this is my first dog okay. so i had he is with me all the time mm -hmm. uh What's his name? Dogmi. He was Lupin. He was our first, the first uh, Central Asian Shepherd dog in my garden. And from okay. not 100% Turkmen, I say. There was a Kazakh dog in his bloodline, a Russian dog. Of, I don't have uh, his, uh, his puppies uh, anymore, but he was the, the, the start of my, of my program. Um, and from that point, I, I, um, I searched character like this dog was not bloodline but characteristic behavior was fantastic so my goal is very easy i try to search and find the best bloodlines um, i can use in my breeding program and that's why because i brought to hungary um last 10 years i think i brought about 42 dogs i 42 dogs only yeah. to select the best. I did on the most dysplasia screening, uh, guard test, you may, um, I don't know how to say bite test or guard test or security test. I don't know how mm. to, how, how you say in, in USA that, you know, that, you, uh, that is the dog. Please? A temperament? Are you talking yeah, about temperament? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah exactly. Uh -huh. So how they okay. secure them for the territory or something like that. Uh, and I used them in my breeding program. And after that, um, so I have experience, I can say like nobody, because I bought, I buy every single Turkmen lines, lines possibly uh, a human can. Because there is, so we are deep in, in this thing, there is, a, there is a two different breeder, I can tell you, in, um, in Turkmen dog breeding. We are a lot of people, uh, some of them, they have one or two or three dogs and they try to make up puppies. Uh, there is a, a breeders, uh, and I can mention my good Italian friend, and this is very important because I think he doing the best work uh, in Europe to keep the most authentic Turkmen dogs. Um, he is Italian and he is a president of Turkmen Alibi Club Italy. His name is Alessandro Albanese, a good friend of mine. He took the, past, the most possibly original Turkmen um, dogs from Latvia, Russia, Bulgaria. Of course, with my, I, I, I have him a, a, not a lot, but a few dogs. He do the, the very it's a great job. He tried to keep the most clean dogs. Mm, in history, but this is very hard because because there, 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 there is a few dogs with this bloodline and this bloodline uh, needs inbreeding because we don't have much from this and if you use one dog to other, they are familiar. Can I say familiar to each other? The same blood, not right. 100% but 10-20%. So they have goal 
to keep the most authentic, most clean uh, dogs, Turkmen dogs, alive. Um, there is a lot of uh, breeders who help them, for Alessandro, for example, a lot to to keep dogs, those dogs alive. I can mention a few names uh, just because I respect them uh, much. Mr. Vasiliev, uh, Mr. Razuvaev, Mr. Arunas Derus, and he is personally my friend, uh, Kristina Mateva, and uh, Mr. Rogalski. Sorry if I don't know the second name, but uh, it's hard, hard to translate from Russian. <laughs> uh, and Mr. Anatoly Berchansky. Uh, those breeders tried to keep the most clean, uh, the most clean Turkmen alibis in his in history, and this is a very hard. And the second uh, breeders, so second breeders like me, we try to uh, to buy as much as possible to selection for a very different bloodlines to step out from inbreeding and and i try to to produce it, it's nice word for for breeding so try yeah. try try to produce a dog with a dog uh, with uh, a long healthy life a good character uh, this is the most important in my breeding pro program but i respect uh with my respect to 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 every other breeders because there is a lot of breeders who, who yeah. do excellent uh, work. So yeah. my my goal is the dog with long, healthy life, great character, closely excellent anatomy, and to give the, the, the peoples, those peoples who can use them, for example, in livestock in USA, because I have dogs in Canada, in Peru, in uh, USA, uh, Egypt, um, I hope I, I pronounce well Egypt, I don't know how to yeah. say it in English. That's right, okay. Egypt, yeah. Mm -hmm. Egypt, sorry. Uh, and, uh, and in Europe as well, we have um, a high mountains in Trans Transylv uh, Transylvania, um, in Italy, in Austria, in Germany, um, in Spain. So I'm going to send the most of my dogs to working homes. Of course, if somebody asks me to give him a pet uh, for a 2,000 quadrat meter, I don't know how much um, uh, is in, in, in USA. I, I, we have only quadrat meter in Europe. <laughs> so a big, a pretty big garden, right, a pet. Yeah. About 1,500, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, uh, if they ask me, I give, but I don't give for flat. I don't give for, for a small um, house. So they need a, a, a space. Of course, I can uh, I can see with my own eyes uh, how my puppy's characteristic, and I can choose I, and I can propose to my customers because some of my puppies are more dominant, uh, some of my puppies are more soft. Because if somebody tells all my puppies are good, he's a liar. Because right. there is there is a lot of uh, puppies in one liter, eight, ten. Um, the last two liters I had, uh, so my females had thirteen and fifteen puppies. Wow. Hmm. And yeah. 13, uh, 13 puppies alive. Wow, okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you have a different personality. And, right. and you have to check the temper of the puppies, how you see it said before, temper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned I learned from you mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have um, my own um, test for, for the puppies. So, for example, I took the puppies with four uh, weeks of age uh, alone in my hand, I bring uh, 40 meters. I let them alone. I, I I call them. I wait to follow me. And if the puppy, for example, don't cry, tail up, and and going and and uh, and and check the the garden, this is great. But some of the puppies have afraid. And after days and days, I check how they change because the dog's temper can change uh, pretty much uh, fast. Of course, a self-confident puppy from Hungary only one will be uh, um, a bad quality and will be stud because those tests are good to check the puppy, uh, the puppy's um, uh, um, uh, confidence. For example, mm -hmm. uh, at five weeks of age, I I bring into house, I put on the floor, and I see I check how they react. 
or on the table or after eight weeks of age, I put in the, in the car and I see how they react, if they cry, tail up or down. So there is a lot of, lot, lot of um, difference between the puppies. And if we don't check, we don't, we don't uh, look at much, then, then we don't have results. Right. So a good dog has not color. This is my translation for English. So good dog have character, not color. It mm -hmm. can be green and pink and whatever you want, mm -hmm. but the good right. dog must be good and not about that black and white and, and, and something like that. Right, gotcha. Uh, what, uh, you you only have Turkmen dogs now, right? Yeah, Okay. exactly. And I noticed that you do uh, a lot of health testing, make your dog hips are exactly. tight, are tight. Yeah. Would, would you tell uh, the audience about the importance of uh, uh, checking the hips and health of your dogs? First of all, uh, breeding is 40% and 60% is the owner. I mean feeding. So the most important is the owner who get the puppy. And if they don't get from the breeder, uh, um, how to say, um, information about how to feed the puppy, in future, they get into trouble. Because if you love your puppy and you give uh, two ton of uh, foods of food uh, for your puppy, then it will, it will be the worst, the nightmare for the puppy and for your future because because they will be sick because of um, because of um, of uh, the growing uh, of the puppy will be increased. And these shepherd dogs growing up to size up to three years, but teeth up to five years. So if you don't feed carefully those puppies, then you get into trouble. Um, I can tell for 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 those people who ask me about the puppies, the most important thing is how they feed. I love raw feeding, for example. I don't know how you feed your dogs with granola or uh, or, or raw feeding, but uh, but meat is the best, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I, if me, you have meat, please. No, I said uh, I usually use kibble for my dogs, uh, but my my mothers, nursing mothers, they usually on a raw diet. That's how I do yeah. mine. Yeah. So. Yeah. In Europe, oh, yeah. we have a, we have a possibility to buy. Uh, it's about one dollar per one kilogram raw meat from cow. What? Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is great. But because if the veterinarian say that 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 cow have some infection, for example, they can't sell the raw meat one hundred fifty kilogram for the shop, and I can buy for one hundred fifty dollars very easy. For example. Oh, right. Oh, okay. And good. I take all the cow, but this is the, of course, this is in package and everything. Oh, okay. And I, I don't use uh, granula because this is my, of course, the most important is less feeding, less. Mm -hmm. So small portion, very quality, slow growing. So we let our puppies um, grow very slow, and then our puppy. So long, uh, slow growing, healthy, long life. I can say. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, besides, uh, what, in your opinion, your honest opinion, you, yeah. you choose Turkmen for a reason. And what are the top reasons you choose the Turkmen dog? <clears throat> yeah, I can mention again, one very good uh, friend of mine. Um, she is, uh, Edita Boklaka from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. She is a famous uh, Russian dog breeder, very good friend of mine. Kenel Medzalala, Edita Vokla. She do excellent job with health screenings, with, uh, with show dog uh, breeding. Mm, I like her so much. We are frank, friends, I think, 15 years ago. Yeah. And uh, when I meet her, she was very kind to me. And I got from her this mail up on, so there, mm -hmm. on the picture and up also. Mm -hmm. And uh, I meet her. Uh, I had the possibility to get the first pick mail from all litter. Um, and after I 
I bought from her uh, three di different dogs. And uh, the, the third meeting was very interesting in, in her house in Czech Republic. This is around 800 kilometer drive, so not much. And his, he, he put, on, put on the table one newspaper named Aska. I will, uh, I will write to you in Messenger. This Aska or Aska, I don't know how to pronounce, A-C-K-E. I will, I will show you. I will, uh, I will show you this newspaper. This okay. newspaper is from Igor Semenov, Russia. This guy took a lot of Aborigine dogs, um, Aborigine dogs from from uh, from Kazakhstan and I think he, from Iran as well. But I have to check. And uh, he written those newspapers. There was I don't know 30, 40, 50 pieces. So not much. Mm -hmm. And he put on edita put on the table, and I just start to check a pages, and I found one uh, Turkmen dog, and I asked her, "Who is that?" Because in this time I knew only I was I was only familiar with uh, with with Russian dogs, mm -hmm. and th this dog was um, Alar uh, from Anatoly Berchansky, and this point was the turn. Uh, in my breeding career, I don't know how to say. Uh, in this second, I knew that I found something that is different from the picture and something that I never had and something that I wanted from this point, from this time. And I started to to search on internet, on Google, on Google uh, with translator, with Russian translator. I paid for for um, for uh, people to translate me the pages um, and uh, there, there there is a lot of home pages which you you can use a security dog point org um, uh, video point mail point rule and something so there is I will after I will write you those those home pages okay. and yes. you can you can uh, you can search on the history of the dogs so. Don't must be Turkmen, I tell you always. There is a lot of excellent Tobet from Kazakhstan. This is maybe the best type ever you will see. I will send you pictures. Or Kyrgyzstan, uh, from Kyrgyzstan, um, Dobot. Or uh, Uzbekistan, Buribosar. They are excellent. And in, so these years, there is um, a, a places, um, exist um, um, a shepherds, who have um, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 years old um, uh, dogs, I mean bloodlines. And uh, not a lot of uh, people have those dogs because they are totally separated in two, 3,000 meter high mountains. And the dogs look like um, dinosaurs, I mean. Right. So this is hard because I don't have those pictures in my hand, but I can, so after I can show you and- You, you can, can send them to me. Yeah, yeah you because, because you will understand what, I, what I'm saying. So I mean, um, I mean, if you see those videos, you see the differences because size is not matter. Because mm -hmm. if you have after three, four years a dog with dysplasia because of your feeding or because of your um, 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 mistakes or, or genetic mistakes, then you will understand. Sometimes the dogs are healthy, but uh, um, but there is a big possibility to have a sick dog. Uh, for example, stomach twist. Uh, with, uh, in Latin, is stomach torsia. Or I don't know if you know that. Stomach uh, twisting and you know Oh, that? the bloat. Bloat. I think yeah, we call yeah, it bloat yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the worst thing for dog. And mm -hmm. abori Aboriginal dogs don't have that. Oh, I really? can tell you, I have 17 years, uh, 70 years um, uh, Turk, so, yeah, mostly 17 years Turkmen dogs. I never had that problem. For example, I, I brought to to, uh, to Hungary 42 dogs, and from 42, I have only three with problem with elbow and and hip dysplasia. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. And it is nothing if you if you think about because right. uh, because uh, because the results normally they are good. I know that in, in, in the USA that you have a fair or normal hips or, or three. We have in Hungary, so in Europe, A, B, C, D, A. So this this five. A is free, B is borderline, C, and th 
the, the most worth is A. So this is the most worth and uh, you, you, you have to put on sleep or, or, or do operation or something like that because they're a sick dog. And, yes, and Aboriginal dogs normally don't have this because of the selection of the nature and because of the size, because they are not too heavy. Mm -hmm. For example, the bone size of the dogs uh, make problem for a dog because the joint is not strong enough to keep the bone moving. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that the joint, yeah. And, and, and and all anatomical mistakes because we love size. For example, women's women's like a big man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What I mean, what I mean. Mm -hmm. we are not. I am. I am also one hundred kilogram. Uh, but the dogs uh, for work uh, can't be as big as we want because because they will be slow if they are more than seventy kilograms. They will be too slow, too lazy. They will sleep too much. Uh, the hanging uh, lips and eyes i mean you know this is uh, this is all all these things coming together and and we will have a a, a sick dog so our goal and my goal and my partner's goal are the following keep the dogs as healthy as possible and keep our dogs uh, in those people hand who have life livestock like I can mention uh, my good friend Amanda Nicole. So I work, we work together with Daniel Nash and those Daniel people, Nash, yeah, 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 Daniel Nash, yeah. yeah, we, yeah we, we work together or we try to work together. I try to give them whatever they want <laughs> because <laughs> because because they do excellent job uh, with our or with my dogs. Mm -hmm. So I hope uh, I hope we will fa follow this these uh, steps in our breeding program because this is very important to keep our dogs. Of course, not only Turkmens because the people think that I that I like to speak always about my dogs, but this is not true. So I love to speak about about uh, peoples who do more for the breed or mm -hmm. who do better job as me because I can mention a lot of peoples. Right. So if somebody uh, want uh, help from me, don't be afraid. Ask me about the Aboriginal dogs, about the breeders, because I have a lot of friends uh, in Hungary, in Slovakia. They can give excellent dogs for working. For, for example, Kazakh dogs. We have a lot of excellent breeders, like uh, Dr. Attila Horvat. So he is a good friend, friend of mine. He has uh, Aboriginal dogs. He have also dogs um, already in Tajikistan, and surprise, surprise, they will come in uh, next year, I hope. So we have a lot of people who do a lot of work with those dogs and make, and they, they give for shepherds because we have a, a puppies, we have a, we have a lot of mountains uh, there, not so high, but up to 1,500 uh, meter, meters or 2,000 meters. And they, th those dogs can work again after three, four, five generations because um, those dogs which we uh, uh, took from Bulgaria, Ukraine, I don't know, Kazakhstan, Russia, um, they have to work. And two, three generations, they are kennel dogs. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have a, a job to work with them, but work with them like that, that we put in the right place the, our puppies. So that's why it's great that uh, that I have a customers or friends already I can say yeah. who who work with our working dogs because I yeah. don't want to speak only about Turkmens I want to speak about Aboriginal dogs because okay. this is good business for me this is uh, this is my passion and I tell all this in Hungarian and in Germanian language also because I speak Germanian as well that uh, that uh, the most important that the, uh, the peoples must to check those Aboriginal, Aboriginal dogs and choose from them. So if they choose, I can help. So they don't must to choose just Turkmen. They can use they, they can they can use uh, Kazakh or, or Kyrgyz dogs because we have a lot of lot of lot, lot of good breeders in Europe. So right. feel free uh, to ask me. I mean, everyone, uh, if if somebody needs my help, I can um, I can send them to the right breeders. Right, right. So, uh, 
these dogs work great on farms. I, I know here in the U.S., uh, we had this thing about homesteads, which is like smaller farms. And uh, so, but how do they work? Are they good with birds or just livestock? Uh, oh, great question. No, first of all, they are genetically good with the, with the bigger livestock animals. Okay. This fact. But, uh, and this is that I learned uh, a learn lot, for example, from, from Amanda as well. Uh, her, she have a, a big livestock. Um, I have uh, friends in Transylvania, uh, Transylvania and they have also a big livestock and they have experience and from them I have very good experience. The most important, take your puppy with eight weeks, maximum eight weeks of age to your home. I, I know that this is sometimes not good for puppy because vaccination pro program, but if you if you put the first vaccination at five weeks of age and after the second vaccination at seven weeks of age, you can send your puppy to, I mean, in the USA, they, you can move your puppy to your home and start to, to socialize with, uh, with the small birds because the dog can have low, medium and high prey drive. I think we, we can say prey drive. Mm -hmm. So prey drive means that they start to play and kill the bird. Right, right. And yeah. and, and prey drive. And if uh, if you start to teach your puppy at uh, earliest age, this will the birds will be like I don't know how to say. So will be more easy to to keep them together. Mm. And for example, Amanda did an excellent job with our two and a half year old female. We sent a pregnant female to her and after four or five weeks that female who never knows birds chickens uh, emus and something like that she living with them already oh, wow. really wow okay. so, yeah, yeah, yeah i was also surprised because i thought that okay she will kill everything <laughs> you know because yeah. she never she never, she never meet but right. genetic and experience and and excellent professional can bring something together but with the puppies it's very easy if you take your puppy in the early age to your home and try to to teach but the most important be together with your puppy because if she make a mistake if she start to play as puppy with the chickens then you have to teach her to stop that and after a few days you will be sure that this puppy will be a good shepherd dog 14 15 year long uh, the, what about children? That's another question people ask about. How are the shepherds with children? Yeah, um, I can tell you that um, in Turkmen, uh, killing the dogs who bite people. So this is very important, very very interesting thing. In Turkmen, there, there there is no fences, there, there is no borders, there is just big places. You know, if one strange person enter into your um, livestock, they stop, so the dog stop him or bark at him, but never bite. If one dog bite people in Turkmen, and they kill, mm. okay. so they don't play. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. And we, yeah. the, the most interesting thing, we breeding for a good guarding, a good security skill, and mm. because of the dog have different uh, mindset or nerves. They can have um, lower, not pain tolerance, they can have lower tolerance, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why uh, the dogs can be more aggressive with, of course, with a, with a, with a family, with the children, because 5,000 years, uh, Turkmen or natures uh, selected the, their dog to use them for livestock. And if the dog did some bad to the children, then this dog died. Right. So they okay. killed easy. But they are they are they are but, excellent. But, yeah. They, so they are they are excellent guard dogs as well, right? Yes. But because of we breed excellent guard dogs, this is not the best way to breed. So we have to keep them in normal level by guarding. Because two aggressive dogs can have more aggressive puppy. And this is more, how to say, uh, more. Um, uh, I don't know how to how to say. 
this dog can bring you in in the trouble you know because yeah. if the dog want to bite everyone this is also uh, a problem in the right. USA as well so i love uh, dogs with good guarding skills but right. uh, turkmen dogs for example aboriginal dogs have 5000 year um, experience with family with children in their blood in their genetic and that's why they know that uh, that the children are untouchable mm -hmm. if okay. this is strange child so they don't know that child they can't bite children gotcha. so mm -hmm. they know they love children normally those bloodlines which i love and which i use they love small dogs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay of course, so, if, 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 so there is a lot of bloodlines a lot of characters more dominant less dominant so there is a lot of different fighter bloodlines so whatever you want Mm -hmm. There is a lot of dogs, but that's why it's good to communicate to customers, to people, what is their need, what mm -hmm. for they need the dogs. If they need against coyotes, so this is the best because mm -hmm. I can give them a hot dog, a really dog with the fire in ass. Right. So they, so <laughs> to do the job. But if some people need a dog for family, and there is no predators, so I can give them a medium or a soft character dog who guarding or barking nicely, but uh, don't uh, eat up humans. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay. Hey, so so the dog is getting very popular over here, as you know. Yeah. Um, where do you see this breed in the next five, 10 years? Um, in Europe. Uh, so I don't know the situation in USA, but in Europe, I think the shelters will be full without mm -hmm. shepherd dogs not oh, my because if i have a, a, a my dog is in trouble i sit in my car because hungary is 500 kilometers so this is a, a small uh, country mm -hmm. i can within in five hours in uh, in uh, in the in the uh, close to because we living close to ukraine you know and mm -hmm. i can on, on the ukraine side uh, hungarian side in, within in five hours so if if the, if my dog have problem or the owner don't want him anymore you know what i mean Mm -hmm. Or if I have problem in USA, because there was um, a few months ago or one year ago, and I asked friends, um, and they helped me a lot. So in this time, they 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 went and they took that dog who was in in trouble in USA. So I mean, I think in five six years, uh, our dogs, so not our but this breed, uh, Russian dogs, more because um, uh, in Hungary is very popular Russian dogs, and uh, you can have. Russian dog for not about the quality or good or not good, but after so I can tell you one hundred dollar, two hundred dollars, you can get a Russian dog with mm -hmm. pedigree. Mm -hmm. Wow! So okay. this is the problem, and <laughs> yeah. sometimes good dogs cost four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. wow. So this is the, the main problem, and the shelters are full. The the, the rescue team uh, working daily, and and uh, this will bring for us after five years a stop i think they, the breeders will stop who is not a real breeder or, or 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 breed lover they will stop to to breed them they will uh they will stop with, with breeding and they will sell their dogs uh because not exist people after five years we will be, be no customers because hungary is full and europe is full from central asian shepherd dogs oh, I wow. mean yeah yeah and now nowadays the peoples want only so from me i don't know how is exhibitions or something like that but the, on exhibitions are only 20 25 dogs in hungary and a uh, few years ago there was 80 dogs or 100 dogs mm. on exhibition so oh, wow. a lot of people um, uh, contact me only just because livestock and the most from Italy, from Germany, from Austria, from French, and but mostly from USA, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because those people need the dogs uh, really against um, coyotes and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Where, where I live is a bunch of coyotes. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah. Um, so, Nemeth, is there anything else you'd like to cover? I don't want to take up all your time today. 
Um, look, uh, I just want to tell for the people so before they buy a dog, please check the breed. This is the most important. Mm -hmm. Check the dogs, ask uh, the bloodlines, ask people who are experts. And, and we have a time. After two, three, four months, exist another litter by another breeder. Because if, if, I, if I like to buy something, I have to, I have to check what I buy. This is the most important. Because some of the people love show dogs. It's not a problem because show dogs can be also pretty good and excellent. And Aboriginal dogs are as well excellent. But we, know, we must to know what we buy. And this, this is the most important. Gotcha. Okay, man. Hey, I really appreciate you coming, educating the people. I appreciate you. Thank hey, you. Thank if, you. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get questions in the comments. So I probably got to okay. get you back whenever we, whenever I message you so you can answer some questions. Thank you so much. Thank you for the possibility. All right, Neiman. Thank you. Have a good day, man. Uh, Thank you. Happy, happy Father's Day over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.